You sure Shane has his inhaler with him? He'd better. I told him if he threw this one away, he'd have to pay for it. Hey, take it easy, Marasco. We don't want a repeat performance of the other day. <laughs> no worries, I'm fine. You bring your inhaler? Yeah, I said I'm fine. I didn't say anything, don't worry. That's good, Wheezy. Because you know what happened if you did. Oh. Yellow ball! You hungry? Uh, Thought maybe we could go and get some sandwiches and take them to that park outside of town. Be warm in the sun. I don't think anybody would know us there. Yeah, look, Echo, I, um... I know we talked about spending some time outside of this room. I love our time here. I just thought it might be nice to get some fresh air, you know? We could maybe even pretend we were on a date. <clears throat> or not. I mean, we don't have to. I'm sorry, Echo. I, I can't today. I have to. My wife needs me. The judge is ready to rule on the custody, and with Clinton in jail, I just have to be there by her side. And if she wins custody, you'll raise the child together? No, the goal is for Jessica to get better and raise the child on her own. And what if that doesn't happen? I mean, I don't... I mean to sound negative here, but what if she doesn't recover? I mean, you and I have uh, something going on here. I know. I mean, what happens to me while you're off playing house with Vicky raising that baby? It's like an 18 year commitment. What about me? A beautiful girl like you, I don't know what to say, Echo. I don't want to hurt you. Because if it weren't for you, I would have fallen back into the bottle. Oh, don't say that. No, it's true. When I found out that Rex wasn't mine, it was like losing Jared all over again. I know that was tough for you. But the fact is that you didn't fall off the wagon. When you showed up here that night, you hadn't touched a drop. Yeah. And if you'd sent me on my way... Hmm? Hey, you're fine now. And you're the one who's hurting. I'm sorry. Vicky needs me. Rex. Hi. I was just, uh... Um... He was fixing my pipes. The uh, maintenance here is just dreadful. <laughs> so you should go. You're going to be late. Yes. Okay. Hey, come. Come in. Come in. So, it's good to see you. Uh, yeah, I'm glad you and Charlie are still... Friends. We're, we are the best friends. <laughs> How are you? You heard about Clint? Yes. I mean, it was all over the news. I mean, the idea that he killed someone here in this motel. I'm sure he'll make bail, but he's in jail for now. Good. How's that wonderful grandson of mine? That's why I'm here. I know you two are pretty close. He's a wonderful boy. Yeah. But I don't know who he is anymore. Something's happened to him. He's changed. And I'm worried about him. He stole from the school, the booster club or whatever. Shane stole money? He said he needed it for sneakers. I buy him sneakers. I get him whatever he needs. It doesn't make any sense. And then he, he's been getting into these fights at school, bullying other kids. Shane's no bully. Not according to the principal. We got a call from the school. And the other day, he, he threw out his inhaler. He said it made him feel like a loser. 
What's up with that? He's, he's had asthma for years. It's never been a problem. I mean, it's always been a problem. It's just, you know, with his friends, I mean, they've all understood. Well, you know, Shane's growing up, you know, and it, it's high school. That's, that's a whole new world. Well, what? It's not grown up to have asthma? No, it's not that. It's just that with these kids, maybe they have a different kind of attitude about that thing. What? Medicine? I, I, I shouldn't have said anything. And Echo, if you know something about my son... He's my grandson, okay? And I love that kid to pieces. And you're right, we have grown closer, and I don't want to jeopardize that. The other day, when he threw out his inhaler, he collapsed on the floor. And if we hadn't given the school nurse a second inhaler, he could have died. If you know something, Echo, you have to tell me, please. <sighs> Shane's, your son is not a bully. <sighs> He's a victim. And didn't want to tell me anything about it. I saw it on his My Face page by accident. There were all these vicious posts from kids in his class. What do you mean? Calling him wheezy, making fun of his cartoons and threatening him. They're bullying my kid? He didn't want to admit it. And I don't know if it's because he was ashamed or scared or both, and he made me swear that I wouldn't tell you. When was this? The, the day that we were hanging out together, the, the, the day of the christening. That was over two months ago. I know. I'm sorry, I kept thinking that the situation was going to go away and Shane kept saying that it was all gonna be all right. Do you know these kids are the ones posting the messages? No, I'm sorry, I don't. Can I use your laptop? Is the internet connection always this bad? Yeah, uh, it's not great. You know what, try by the window. Sometimes that works. <sighs> Gigi and I thought when Shane went into high school he deserved to have a little more privacy. We stopped monitoring his My Face page. I'm not even friends anymore. Well, the kids don't want to be friends with their parents. I'm so sorry I didn't say something sooner. No, it's okay. I, I get that you were trying to protect him. Who knew it could get this bad? I sure as hell didn't. Okay, here's his page. Uh, I need a password. Any ideas? Uh, uh his, his birthday. No, it's too easy. We need to think like a teenage boy. Um, oh, what's her name? Uh, Megan Fox. That's too last year. Who's hot now? You're asking me? Olivia Wilde. Maybe. Bingo. More nasty comments? Wheezy blows? Oops, sorry, he can't. Where'd you get your clothes? Loser, the dumpster? What are you in the hospital for? Sucking? Too bad it didn't kill you. How about doing us all a favor and never coming back? Who would say something like that? Who to man? Todd, son. Jack! Where are you going, Rex? Rex! <laughs> Come on! Charlie, I thought you had to be in court. Come in. I made my statement. Well, then why aren't you home with your wife? Look, what did Rex want? Something's going on with Shane. Rex came here for my help, and I felt awful. I didn't want to break Shane's confidence, but if anything happens to that wonderful boy, I won't be able to live with myself. Okay, Echo, Echo, I can't keep going on like this. What do you mean? You and me, it's got to stop. It's like you said, I can't even live with myself. It's unfair to you, it's unfair to Vicky. I've, I've got to do the right thing. I, I can't, I can't do this.